Greetings from our share and welcome to episode 77 of my modded Factorio playthrough. In this episode, we need to hook up all of the different ore setups with belts. Enjoy. That should be the sixth ore washing setup. It's looking mighty symmetrical, which is always appealing. Took out lots of trees in the process. <laughs> Let's let the robots finish their work and then I can pick up resources. Because I kind of put just about everything they could use in the truck. Let's go through here and try to configure everything. From a logistics point of view, it probably makes sense that this one right here is crotinium. Because crotinium mining is right here. But I kind of want it to go along the lines of the the menu here, where it's sapphite, jovalite, steratite, crotinium, rubite, bombonium. The mining that does happen here, if it happens here, could just be a belt that just gets run over where it needs to go. So the first one is sapphite, which is set up correctly. So now we need to set the second one to jovalite. And we have these inserters we need to set to Jivalite as well. It looks like there's no nears or fars. So we just need to be careful to click the right ones. Okay, so there are nears and fars. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Fortunately, there's a lot of stuff that needs to get moved around here. Or at least things that need to get set up. If you click any one of them wrong, bad stuff will happen. So Jivalite produces purple geodes and fluoric wastewater. So let's set these to process fluoric. And the output is mineralized water. And the fluorite. So we can leave this all the same. So we've got to change every one of these. And then we've got to change every one of these. And looks like they do alternate near and far. But there's no long handed version, so. We'll just skip one and then do the next one. Skip one, do the next one. Yeah, this is the annoying part. I don't know if there's a faster way of doing this or not. Dealing with these nice and compact setups as far as washing is concerned. You just kind of have to get it right one time and then go through the setup for each color and fix them all. They're mechanically the same. It's just... Uh, the whole system works on filters, so I guess to make this work better, I'd have to set it up to where it didn't use any filter inserters at all. I don't know, I kind of like everything being clean on its own individual belt, rather than having a giant mess of everything on everything, and then using sorters later. Okay, and then we have the purple geode. Luckily, these are all the same. Very careful not to accidentally click on the wrong thing. Okay. Colors changed. The water processing has changed. And the crusting has changed. Well, let's set this train station to Juvelite Unload. We'll worry about the color at the end of it. Bob Monium. Looks like we are short on a few final resources here. It's actually not too bad. So the guesswork was pretty decent. Not not too much extra stuff got thrown in there. So we need 10 washers and 100 belts.
Got to be real careful with these because the Crotinium looks very similar to the crushed stone. And finally, red geodes. And getting this set up with all these filter inserters takes almost as long as building the whole thing to begin with. Not quite. It, even with robots, it really did take a decent amount of time to build, but... Man, just sitting here clicking on all these one at a time is, uh... It tests your commitment to Tier 2 <laughs> or sorting. Uh, I'm sure there's a better way of building these that doesn't require you to click around like this, but... Or some kind of blueprint changer. But there we go. They should all be adjusted properly. And now we need to start kind of hooking everything up. Well, first things is we need to hook up the water to all of these. And I have lines running down for each one. Although they probably don't need their own individual water source. So each one needs 337 and a pump puts out 1200. So three to a pump. We can kind of move these around then. Let's see, we can. Is this going to go all the way over here? I don't think so. It's going to be one square too short. I'll let the factory catch up after that. Let's see, is this below? It is, but I kind of don't want to get too close to the happenings of the belt there. So let's just pack this in nice and close. We are. There's our offshore pump. Let's just run a power line over there. Give it a light. Great. Let's do the same thing for the other side. It's nice being so close to water for this. Okay, so we should have a nice supply of purified water building up for all the setups. Except saline water is not being dumped. Well, we have somewhere else in the factory to do that already. So I don't think we need to set it up here. We just need to connect them all together. And for a temporary basis, because we kind of want to test all these machines now. We'll just hook them up to a clarifier somewhere. But they should all be lined up with each other. See, that doesn't really reach all that well, going that direction. But it works better going that way. Okay, all these saline water should be hooked up. Let's just build a temporary clarifier. Oh, we don't have the resources for it. Boo. Yeah, lovely walk back. Even though it's nighttime, let's try to drive over there without killing ourselves. There's a lot less trees than there were before, so hopefully this won't be too dangerous. Stop. Alright, that wasn't quite as painful. Okay, let's, uh... Put a tank here, and then a clarifier, just to get rid of all of it because it's saline water and we don't care. This is just a temporary measure. Just so we can build up our purified water to test the process. And there's no way that this is fast enough to catch up, but oh well. It should be enough for a test. I kind of only want to run one of these at a time, just to make sure everything's good. Okay, so water's connected. We have some belt stitching to do here. So there's the output of the first line. And the 
third one. And the fourth one. The fifth one. And the sixth one. See how clean that ended up being? Of course, ran out of belts, but are there any left in the truck? Nope. What about this one? Nope. And logistics spots would be nice to keep the inventory stocked, but it's a little too soon for that. I think we're going to need uh, white circuits in order to make uh, normal robots. Eventually, there's just not going to be any trees in the way if we run into all of them. Five hundred might not be enough. Let's let it go up to a thousand like it was before. And it's these rocks that really stop you. The trees don't stop you, but the rocks do. Well, out of curiosity, how big is all of this? Well, first of all, all the colors seem to be lined up. Which is good news, but... Okay, so that's pretty compact. I'm fairly pleased with that. We actually didn't block any major ores. Although this will need to continue over to the left a little bit, but we might be able to reposition things in a way where we're not blocking any of these ore patches. See how these belts all came together nicely? With a minimum amount of overlapping and movement. They're just nice and straight. They made it right to the end where they were planned to. Okay. Well, we need to put something on the end of this in order to test it. Let's see, I've got some storehouses, but can I build a warehouse? A very small amount of them, but let's go for it. It is the exact size it needs to be. So we put that there with our six inputs. It kind of looks weird on the top, but they're all connected. So that's where all the crushed stone will go. Now it'll go somewhere else. This is only temporary. We just need somewhere to put it so we can test the system. But they'll actually go to either a train to get moved somewhere else or directly processed in the vicinity. That's, uh, that's another task for another day, unfortunately. We just have to take this one step at a time and... Oh, it's missing a pipe there. And it will all come together uh, when it's all together. But until that point, we just have to kind of take it one step at a time and uh, just kind of pay attention to it. Well, we have one line, one line, and one line here. I'm kind of worried that it's uh, five units and not six because of the way the inserters work on near side and far side, but I actually think it'll work okay. Because they're not maxing out a belt. Maxing out would be four of these to one red belt, but we're only going to put three of them. Basically right here. And then the units after this point will all place on the second belt only. Looks like there were some missing items elsewhere. Kind of has me worried that the inventory is not completely full of items here. For every item type because I put them into the truck, so... Kind of want to grab... All of those items again. Just to make sure... That we at least have it on hand. If there's any holes. So we need to adjust these last three. Basically, just turn them into long-handed inserters, but one space down. Although that doesn't quite work right here. Or here. Well, in that case, we're going to have to move the belt here. Like that. 
that'll be a fresh new belt for everything to place on. Then when we get to the end, it'll probably be nice to have a splitter on here just to make sure the belts are all balanced. They should be, but you never know. Oh, but I kind of want it to be all the warehouses to be lined up, so I guess right there. Okay, let's make a strong box. And like down here, it is just a temporary affair for testing purposes. So those are stitched together. Now this is all good, so now we need to do the final side up here. Okay, let's do geodes. So the first three set of machines. Hook up to the bottom one here. Or to the top one. There we go. The bottoms can be yellows, but the main line has to be red. So that's one, two, three so then after that point a new line starts on the bottom instead last one. So there's that one, and this one can just be connected all the way down. And there we go. We'll connect those blue geodes up in a bit. Let's make another strong box. And drop this on the end. Looks like we need more belts. At least it's easier to drive back when it's bright outside. And this thing's a lot faster with the enriched fuel blocks. Okay, 10 stacks. Can't even carry them. Okay, first we need to set up the crushed ore bypasses. The sapphire stays on top. Don't need any of these placeholders. And then the next one comes in right below. And the next one below that. Nice and straight. Yeah, so much easier to place belts now. And we're just about out of all those belts. Well, I guess there's some more in the truck, but still, <laughs> with the new belt placing system, you can just go through them so quickly without really thinking about it because of how much easier it is to do. But there's all the crushed ore, and these are the bypasses, which are going to the ore sorters. Oh, and let's give it a warehouse. I think there are some more belts in the truck, though. There we go. I still don't think that's going to be enough. It's amazing how quickly these belts start adding up when you've got a larger setup like this. In the many thousands you're going to need. Okay, and the final thing is the finished ore chunks. 
And like before, they just come in one below the next. So there's no underground business. It's just nice and straight. I admit this is a uh, pretty satisfying seeing all the belts after all that planning just come in nice and straight without any fuss Ugh. just not quite enough how many did we build in that time? 263. Yeah, this factory is meant to build things over time, not very quickly like this. Maybe I should have it set higher than a thousand. And actually, since these aren't byproducts, we actually really don't need any place to store the extras. Because we want those to be full belts of product. Well, in that case, we can hook up the sapphirite and see how that works. Since everything else is connected. So it should work in place here. Seems pretty good. It'll run for a little bit and stop once the ore makes it all the way to the end of the belt. Let's see, so is this train properly set up? It's actually set to manual. Well, now that's daytime, let's do an automatic run and make sure it works. Seems like it. Might as well take the car back. I'm never going to come down here and get it. Whoops. Hovercraft. Splash, splash. There actually is a hovercraft mod you can get that works well with this uh, shallow water swimming that the canals mod adds. Okay, looks like the belts have uh, quieted down. The byproducts have made their way to the storage areas. And our full belt of sapphire products is static and in place. And that's the end of this episode. On the next one, we need to bring fuel in for the trains and then get some crotinium in here as well. See you later.